Nines of the Week, this might as well be the Demco Show. Let's light it up. So we got some new hinderers. Let's go ahead and just roll with those. So these are the X8, XM18 3.5 inch Sponto triways. Rolls off the tongue. S45 in on the blade steel. Uh, coming in at 425 each. And these are not going to last long. We did get multiples of each one of these, including the FDE, the red, right there. And that one's, uh, that one's actually with the stonewash finish. Got the working finish on the FDE and the orange. And really, really cool blade. This has been a super popular knife. Uh, any of the XM18s have been insanely popular. And really dig them. I mean, the fit and finish is great. The action is great right out of the box. Uh, I didn't even have to use my wrist to flick that one. So uh, that's, that's awesome. Watch this. Look at that. No wrist action. That's it's all the knife. Um, so yeah, great knives. Get them while you can because as with any hinderer we get in, they out of here long. fly right out of here. So also <laughs> wanted to mention this one. Now this is just one in this series, but it's a new case series that we just got in in the last couple of weeks. This is the Smooth Green Bone series, the Emerald Green Smooth Bone series. We've got all the different patterns available in this one. I picked this one to show off just because I love mini trappers, especially with the clip point as the main blade right there and the worn cliff as the secondary blade. Now, I know a lot of people are going to eat me up in the comments, but TC, you don't like worn cliff blades, except on this one. I do like them on this. I think this is where they belong. I also do like the... Uh, copper lock that they did with in the purple barn board with the uh, Warren Cliff blade. Basically anything board. TC says, put an asterisk next to it. I typically, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say, I typically don't like Warren Cliff blades. I just don't think they're attractive. I don't like the way they look. I do accept that they are useful blades and very useful as far as a utility standpoint. I just don't think they look good until I see something like this, and I, I really dig that. So that's the emerald green smooth bone right there, and just a beautiful series. The whole series looks great, and that means I'm going to have to get another mini copper lock from those. Uh -huh. <laughs> that one's coming in at $63.99, but they vary in price depending on the, the model and the uh, pattern that those are in. Also got our new Christmas Victorinoxes in. So these are our special... SMKW only designs right here. So we've got the toy soldier. We've got the little, uh, is, is that a little kitty cat? I think it's a fox. What it's does little... the fox say? Woodland. Woodland creatures. Woodland creatures, yeah. Having Christmas. And then of course, this one right here is the prettiest one right here. Got the snowflakes and the stars. I think that's gorgeous. We've got all three of these in the Classic SD, as well as the Tinker. Tinker's coming in at $33.99. Classic SD's coming in at $23.99. And those are going to be great stocking stuff for gifts. As we get closer and closer, Christmas is right around the corner, and we're going to be talking about gifts a lot more. And that is something that falls perfectly into that category. And I don't know anybody who has received any knife for Christmas and not loved it. I've always struggled with the whole Christmas knives for gifts and I always wonder, like, do I gift that on Thanksgiving so they can have it for the month of December? Or do I gift it to them on Christmas and then they use it next year? Let That's us a good know question. what you think. That's a good question. Oh, and, I mean, if you gift it to them on Thanksgiving, then they have it on Christmas Day so that they can open oh, their packages. You know? I don't know. Let us know what you think in the comments down That's, below. And then somebody's going to say, That's not what Thanksgiving's about. But... But hear me out. Need to carve a turkey anyways. <laughs> um, so, yeah, absolutely. Now, we've got one more knife before we... Actually, two more before we get into this plethora of Demcos that we have now. But let's go ahead and knock these out of the park. We've got a new Queen USA made right here in the green jig bone. And this pattern is the Stockman pattern. Now, as most of you know, the Stockman pattern is going to be one of the more difficult to have made. 
um, simply because of the geometry that goes into this. It is going to be a more difficult pattern to make um, reliably and without blade rub. And this one is pretty daggum good. Um, daggum, uh, I need to cut my fingernails apparently. But uh, yeah, so beautiful knife right there. 1095 carbon steel on the blade, I believe. Yes, I had to check that. I, I, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't speaking out of turn. Green jig bone, beautiful stockman pattern, made in the USA. Comes in the Queen Knives USA 10, coming in at $59.99. That's a, that's a good deal right there. Brass liners, nickel silver on the bolsters and pins. Just rock solid. And yeah, I love the color on that. That one kind of gives me Christmas vibes too. It absolutely does. Uh, I love love the dark green, bolsters pop, the shield. And the jig bone is just classic and classy. It just looks... And the way the light hits it, you get like the little the white reflection from it. And yeah. Yeah, it's just all around good knife. Designed here, made here. Bought and here. Bought here. So, and for 60 bucks, pretty much? Yeah. Can't beat it. Now, on the absolute opposite end of the spectrum, we've got a new Medford in. And this is the Micro T, the Praetorian Micro T. This is a pretty sweet little knife. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and say it's out of my price range, personally. But, I mean, just a really, really cool looking knife. I've always loved the grind lines on the Medfords. They just look super sexy this one's coming in with the blue anodized titanium handle with the gold hardware accenting it and you've got the glass breaker on the back end of course the other side you've got your pocket clip there it is a frame lock again gold hardware on the pocket clip and all of the screws on the back side and beautiful fit and finish that you come to expect from medford i do need a little wrist action to get that one open um, that's just me but Hopefully you don't hate me too much for that. Um, but we've I, got him on a uh, finger strength training program at yep, the moment. Absolutely, he um, does uh, one thousand finger curls every day. It's S forty five V in on that blade steel. Nice blood uh, blood groove there, uh, or fuller, however you want to say it. But I dig it. What do you think about that one? It's very classy, and honestly, it matches my outfit pretty good today. So <laughs> uh, that would definitely be, uh, I try to, I don't know about you guys, but I try to match my... Uh, your carry with your outfit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I, I struggle with that a little bit, but you can you can open it with just your thumb. And uh, I love I love the accents from uh, the pivot to the pocket clip and all the accessories in it. So it's really cool. I like yeah. it a lot. Coming in at 7.30. And we've got a few different variations of that one, some different uh, colorways and stuff like that. Really nice, really nice. Now, we've got a ton of new Demcos in. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this little guy right here is probably already sold out, so we're going to have some more of those on the way. But this is the mini or small, the Armager, Armager 2. And look at that little guy. Look at that, the Armager 2. So this one is coming in. It's It's got a nice rubberized handle, and it's got this nice molded plastic sheath right there with the uh, little tiny carabiner and keychain. $19.99. $19.99. You can have an easy, super lightweight Demco carry right there. Like I said, I think these are already sold out, so we've got more coming. We've got this one in the clip point, as well as the shark foot blade, which Demco is so well known for. And a step up from that one is going to be the Armager or Armager 4. And that's going to be the 4-inch version, and we've got three different versions of this one. So we've got them, each one of these in OD green as well as black, and the sheath actually matches. And... If you haven't seen, we actually did a video, I believe it was last year, talking to Andrew Demko about this sheath and about its design and how it is ambidextrous, but you can also flip it. Like, not only is the sheath itself ambidextrous, but you can, you can flip it within this kind of uh, frame 
here so that you have a lot of different mounting options. So really, really cool design right there. And these are all coming with the, uh, I believe that's uh, like a Cerakoted blade, something of that nature. And 80 CRV2 on the blade steel. 80 CRV2, that's a super strong blade. And it is a full tang fixed blade. You can see the back end right there. Beautiful knives. The best part about these is the price. And you were actually kind of surprised by the price. I was. Because I feel like this sheath alone, I'm just sitting here looking at it and admiring it again. It's like, man, I can't tell you how many times, even when I know which way it's supposed to go, it's just like I'll still like get it backwards sometimes yep. trying to put the knife back in the sheath. and That's genius. Yeah. Uh, and really, it's it's not. It's But genius sometimes is making things... Simpler. Yeah. So... Man, I, I love it. I think I think the uh, the sheath on. I love the topo design in the middle, and it looks very modern, but yeah. also tactical. And <laughs> uh, yeah, I just I really like it. I, I like the the way the handle feels. It's not slippery. Yeah, feels like you got a good grip on it. It's gonna be good in wet environments, and that blade steel eighty CRV two is a favorite among a lot of custom knife makers. Because of its workability and its durability, um, we're talking some extremely tough stuff. Good edge retention, just a great blade steel all around. We've got three different blade shapes. We've got the spear, we've got the tanto, and the clip point there. And I know somebody's going to say that the tanto is the most useless blade shape ever. Well, if it was, they wouldn't be still making it. But <laughs> all we've learned is... Somebody somewhere out there in their mama's basement is going to have a problem with something. <laughs> so, uh, really, really cool knife coming in at seventy four ninety nine. Seventy four ninety nine under seventy five bucks. Under a hundred bucks is is pretty awesome for for this knife. Yeah, I, 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 I would like to uh, at that price. I think I think we should probably do some testing on it because I, I, I think that would be really fun. Absolutely. And then, last but certainly not least, the one that you saw at the beginning. We've got the Shark Cub in the three different blade shapes. And this is another one that I think they've really outdone themselves. So we've got the Slicer Blade, which is a drop point. We've got the Shark Foot Blade that, again, Demco is so well known for. And we've also got the Clip Point Blade right there. So the Clip Point is going to come with the Ambi Thumb Studs. We've got the Ambi Thumb Hole for the slicer and the shark like foot right there. there you go. Doesn't like it at all. And of course, these are gonna have the shark lock. These are gonna be a little bit smaller than the 20.5s. And we're talking anodized aluminum, black aluminum handles, CPM 20 CV on the blade steel. Oh, I failed on that one. There we go. I'm, I'm, I can't use my wrist anymore. I, uh, it's not allowed. I'm trying to get my left hand. Nope. I ain't that. Ain't that so idiot. really nice, really compact, really lightweight, and great, great little knives. Uh, I dig. I mean, the Shark Lock itself is one of the most fidgety. And even folders. if you can't flick it, you can always do a slow roll with it. It's, yeah, it's really easy. And you definitely don't have to use your wrist then. And I, that's what I love about it. So basically, it's like I didn't want it to deter somebody without the thumb stud. If, yeah. you, if you like that, it's, it works just like a yeah. thumb stud. And you can always just flip it with a like a button lock almost. Yep. So. And those are coming in, each one of them, at uh, right at $200. So really nice price on something with 20 CV on the blade steel. Proven, tried and true. Same thing as M390, um, exact same. <laughs> but I really dig that. I think that's a phenomenal knife. Reversible pocket clip, tip up. I dig it. I think these are not going to last long, so these might actually be sold out by the time this actually airs. Uh, uh, yeah, time. I'd say so. I've been debating on on it. But, uh, man, I want one. <laughs> um, but we burned through quite a bit of new knives. Where, why are you walking off? 
Because I know what you're about to ask and I didn't have it in my pocket. You don't have to pause the show. You can keep going. I don't know what you want me to talk about. I'm just waiting on your, your carry right now. The show must go on. <laughs> the show must go on. <clears throat> All right. So does that mean I go first since you were waiting on me? Yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> could, could have been showing yours. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, for my carry today is my PM3 Spyderco. With the Altum scales. Yeah. Uh, these were, this was the one. So if you get to go to Blade Show, Spyderco's been doing this really cool thing where they sell seconds. Yeah. They don't really look like seconds. I couldn't. I don't think we could find anything wrong with them because you bought the same one. Yeah. You put titanium scales on yours. I ordered these Ultim scales, and either I, I've never seen a community so divided about something. It's either you are one hundred percent Team Ultim, or one hundred percent you want it to just burn, and, and never see it again. Uh, yes, I know they look like piss scales. Beer piss. Um, that's that's what they are. But there's just something about it. At first, I'll be honest, I didn't like it, but then it it, it grew on me. So they got a shot for that. <laughs> 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 but I like it, and the the scales I ordered, it was very hard to find some, but uh, they they came out pretty good. So yeah. I like it. It's something different. And one thing I love about getting Spyderco products, Benchmade products, is how many aftermarket third party. Yeah. Things you can do like this is the this is the third handle I've bought for this. Yeah, you've you've gone <laughs> so, through some handles, and I, you are an expert now at tearing down a PM3 and putting it back together. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know, it's it's just like have, I have a little closet for it, a little outfits for the week. That's his Barbie. <laughs> That's his Barbie. Mine is uh, still going to be this one that uh, hasn't left my pocket for the last couple of weeks, and that's my Benchmade Mini Adamus with the uh, carbon fiber scales. And the Magna Cut blade, um, really, really love that thing. I mean, it just it looks sexy. I've always thought that the Mini Adamus was one of the most ergonomic uh, knives out there, and uh, it just feels good in the hand. This thing's been putting in some work. I've uh, cleaned up the edge a couple of times now, so I, I dig that one. That's yeah, I like that one too. If you want to sell it, but anyways. <laughs> Or trade it for something. Or trade it. Um, and then Greg, if you know, usually we do. What are you taking home off the table today? So Greg literally did take this one, and he was, he's been carrying that one nonstop for the last week since yeah. we got those in. Greg always has like the most obscure knife you'd think he'd be carrying for a guy that's six five and a Sasquatch, but he uh, he usually carries the smallest knives that we sell, and it's, yeah. it's hilarious. But it works, and it shows that uh, if it cuts. Greg Curry, it's it. <laughs> Folks, that's all for today's show. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know which one of these was your favorite. What, what Which one are you taking home? Uh, which one? Case. I'm going to take that Dimco, uh, the, the shark. The shark. What, what, it was called something different. Shark. Uh, the shark cub. Shark cub, Dark not cub. shark foot. Yeah. Shark cub. Yeah, I want the shark cub. I like that one a lot. Um, For me to spend my money on, it's going to be the Armager 4. But if money was no option, it would definitely be this Praetorian Micro T. Mm, good choice. If, if if money was no option, that, that's that's what I'd go with. But if um, money was no option for me, I still need a hinder in my collection. And Greg, because he is the cheap king, he chooses the queen. So should he be the cheap queen? Cheap. Let us know what you would pick. Thanks for watching. If it cuts, we carry it. You know what I mean.